Okay, guys, we're going to be making an Eiffel Tower. So we start off with the pyramid. We'll put it here. And let's look at the size of the pyramid. When you click the bottom um, the white square here, it's a 20 by 20. We're going to change that size to 65 by 65. Ooh, there we go. 65. Much bigger base. Now we're going to click the height here, which is right here at the top. Right now it's 20. We're going to make that about 130. So this is really going to be tall, very tall. Whoa, that is tall. Wow. Okay, we got our pyramid. Okay, next, we're going to need a cylinder. So guys, we're gonna grab a cylinder here, and I'll give you the sizes for the cylinder. Uh, let's see if I can remember the sizes of the cylinder. Um, let's zoom in a little bit. One side, let's make it, I think 70. I don't know, 70 might not be big enough. We make it 137. That might be big enough. Oh, yeah, that's big. Oh, yeah, that's big. That's big. Um, We'll make the other side about 70. So we won't make the other side as big. So this side right here, we'll make 70. Okay, that's pretty big. Okay. And I remember I made the triangle 65. So I'm going to make the height of this guy right here about 70. So click the, the top part. And it says 20. Change that to 70. There we go. So that cylinder right there, it's a nice big cylinder. We're going to have to flip this guy around 90 degrees, 90 degree turn. Okay, so click him and the flip that we're going to use is way over here you see that arc right there that's the arc that we want along the long side i'll zoom in a little closer for you oops but that arc right there that's the one that we want to do a 90 degree turn on oops okay so i'm going to click that and change it from zero to a 90. There we go. I like that. Okay, now, see how it's way under the um, platform? I want to pick it up and, in fact, I want to lift it off the floor about four millimeters. So I want to really lift it up. So let's look for the little triangle. There it is. That little black triangle right there. This will lift it up. And right now I'm at negative 23, negative 22, negative 16, negative 9. Keep lifting it. Negative 3, negative 1. There's 0. Now keep lifting it till you get to 4. Well, past 4 now. Uh, 4, 4, 4. Okay, I'm having trouble getting it to 4. Okay, I got it. If I had trouble, I can just click it and type 4. Okay. But now it's actually floating. Okay. Now I'm going to move this back a little bit using my arrow. And then I'm going to move the triangle in the same direction. Okay. And I'll keep moving the triangle until they kind of blend together. Ah, that's a good blend. I like that blend. Now, let's do this. Let's turn this big guy right here, this little um, cylinder that we had. Let's make him a hole. Okay. And now he's making a shadow in the triangle. So I'm going to push him into the triangle a little bit more, a little bit more. And I'm going to keep pushing him into the triangle until the shadow on the bottom is 
just as big, right?